Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dreams channel. Today's tutorial is about making a very gorgeous bracelet using the unique half tila beads. It's basically built with the famous Chan Lu technique. So let's take a look at the material we need. First of all we need half tila beads that are these beautiful beads featured by two holes you can discover more details and color visiting my website www.crystaldreams.s then we need 802 beads s long thread 1 mm leather cord Nemo thread or similar One calabrote, two needles, then a tray to hold the bracelet while we are working, and scissors. I already prepared 60 centimeters of leather cord, so I insert the calabrote and I shift it until the middle in order to start building the bracelet. Then I make a knot in order to join both extremities. Next I insert Nemo thread as well exactly in the same way like the leather cord. And finally I tie the bracelet to the tray in order to get the tensed enough to work without problems. Ok, so now rope the beginning on the calabrote side to get both cords stuck. I'm currently using the super long cord that is perfect for this type of work. Ok, once it's wrapped I pass the tips inside the loop I left and this will allow me to get a perfect roping sliding knot and only by tensing both extremities I get my perfect roping knot to embellish my bracelet. Then lastly, cut away the cord who left and done. To start building the bracelet, I insert one A0 seed bead, then one half tila, then another seed bead in one thread tip. Then I pass the other extremity inside the same beads in the opposite way, in order to get the thread crossed. Then pass the tips from the bottom to the top. Time to insert an half tila, then pass the thread inside the second hole of the half tila we already had, and then insert another half tila. And as you can imagine, we must cross both tips inside the holes. This is the beginning of the bracelet. It can be sometimes tricky to understand, but it's not so difficult. You see that we are going to repeat all the time the same steps. Ok, now insert a new half tila between the other two that I already had.
Then repeat the previous step passing both threads from the bottom to the top between the leather cords and return inserting one half tila then pass the thread inside the second hole of the half tila I already had and then insert a second half tila and cross the tip. So repeat inserting one half tila between the other two that I had inserted before and go on. Follow with the same technique until to get the length of the bracelet you need. You can also make a double or triple round bracelet. Ok done, I got the length I need so it's time to end my bracelet. To do that I insert two Matubo beads beside the last half tila exactly as I did previously at the beginning. And exactly as I did at the beginning I have to be the rope sliding knot to hold both cords together. Ok, let's pass the tip inside the loop and tense it. You can also melt the extremities with a lighter in order to avoid undoing the knot. And lastly, make an overhand knot joining both cords together, but leave a distance between the last beads and the knot enough big to let the calibrote passing in it, because the calibrote is the closure of our bracelet. And here you are my bracelet. As you know there is a huge assortment of colors on Miyuki Haftila, so you can customize it as you want and get a gorgeous bracelet that match with your dress, t-shirt or shoes. Ok, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe to my channel in order to stay updated about all our tutorials. Visit my website www.crystaldrink.s to see all the materials I just used. See you next time, happy beading, bye bye.